Thanks for watching Lessons in Minutes with Jay Lee. Like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Hey guys, today we're going to look at question three, response to the Principles of Accounts 2021 paper. Eastlight Wholesale is owned and operated by Evan Prosper. Our business's financial year ended on 31st of May 2021. The following trial balance was produced on that date. So here you have your list of balances for the period. Additional information, inventory was valid at 32,000 on May 31st, 2021. So that is your ending stock value. You're to show all workings clearly. Here is your workspace that you're presented with. And the title reads working capital in bracket. You're seeing current ratio calculations for the year ended 31st of May, 2021. So what you're asked for is the current ratio. In order to calculate your current ratio, the first thing that you need to enter is your formula, which is current assets divided by your current liabilities. So from the question, what do we have as our current assets? Because we need to detect the total. We need to calculate the total of our current asset. We're seeing where cash is 10,000. We have accounts receivable of 42,000. And based on checks, the final thing that we have for current asset is inventory. So we're going to do that calculation now. Cash, 10,000. Accounts receivable, 42,000. Inventory is 32,000. Based on that, our total there is $84,000. So our total current assets is $84,000. Now we need to pick up our current liability. And based on the question, we only have one current liability, which is accounts payable, and that is 64,000. Now that we have that information, we can then proceed to do our calculation. So our total current asset is 84,000 divided by our current liability of 64,000. And that would give us a result of 1.31. And we express that to one. So that is the result of our current ratio part Two of A, the working capital ratio at the end of May 2020 was 1.7 to 1. Based on your calculated ratio in AI, identify one significance of the change in ratios for the financial position of the business. So what we have is last year, the result was 1.7 to one, and this year it is 1.31 to one. What have you observed? There is basically a decline in the current ratio. And once there's a decline, that shows that there is either an increase in short-term debt or a decrease in current assets, or a combination of both. Whatever the reason, once there is a reduction, it means that there is a reduced ability to generate cash for the business. And the, the possibility lies where the business may run into liquidity problems. Part B, use information taken from the trial balance to prepare an income statement below for is slight sale for the year ended 31st of May, 2021. Don't forget that your aim in preparing the income statement is to ascertain your net income or loss for the business. The first thing that is recorded is the title, which reads is light or sale income statement for the year ended 31st of May, 2021. In getting to your net income or the loss, you'll have to first determine your gross income. And to do that, it is sales less the cost of goods sold. 
from the question, our sales value is 257,500. That's the first thing that is entered based on the question. We have sales returns and that sales return is going to reduce your sales. And the sales returns there is 900. Having entered that, subtract that from your sales, you get a net sales of 256,600. Your next aim is to subtract your cost of sales, which is the very same thing as your cost of goods sold. The cost of goods sold in calculating that we have opening stock. So therefore the first thing that you record is your opening stock. Don't forget that the opening stock carries the same date as the beginning of the period. So the 37,000 is the opening stock. Having entered that, the next step is for you to add your purchases. In adding your purchases, you have to look out for your carriage inwards and if there's any purchases returns. Now we have carriage inwards. We don't have any purchases returns. So our calculation then is purchases, add your carriage inwards, your carriage inwards when added to your purchases, you get a total of 99,200. That 99,200 is then added to your opening inventory and that would give you cost of goods available for sale of 136,200. Once you have that now, you can then subtract your closing inventory. The closing inventory is 32,000. Don't forget that your closing inventory carry the very same date as your child balance reflecting the end of the period. And that value when subtracted from your cost of goods available for sale, give you cost of goods sold of 104,200. This 104,200 is then subtracted from your net sale and yes, we are now at gross income, which is 152,400. Once you get there, your next step is to check if there is any revenues. Based on the question, there is no revenue. So our next step is to less our expenses. What are the expenses in the question? Based on check, there is only one expense, which is operating expenses of 45,000. So we're going to enter that. This 45,000 is then subtract, subtracted from the 152,400 and that gives you a net income of $107,400. Now that we have completed part B, let's just move into part C. East Light or sales bank statement showed an overdraft of $1,118 on May 31st, 2021. On that date, the cash book balance was overdrawn by $678. The following discrepancies between the two records were discovered. Number one, a check sent to a supplier, a Jamil did not appear on the bank statement. So the check was paid out to the supplier by the business. However, at the time when the bank statement was prepared, this check was not yet cashed. So the supplier did not go to the bank prior to this statement for the payment to be made out of the business's bank account. So therefore, that is an unpresented check. So once it was paid out and the payment was not made prior to the bank statement being prepared, then of course that is an unpresented check. Number two, the bank statement showed a debit for Event Prosper's personal private home insurance. So this is shown on the bank statement, but it was not shown on the cash book. What this will do, because it is a personal payment that was made from the business's bank account, it means that there's an increase in the value of drawings. Now, the effect that that will have on the cash balance, what we're seeing is that the cash balance is reflecting an overdrawn balance of $678. 
this will be a credit balance in the cash book and the drawings that was reflected on the bank statement but not in the cash book is going to show a credit to the cash book so you're going to credit the cash book with that and because you're going to credit the cash book with that it's going to cause an increase in the value the overdrawn value there so what we're going to do is to add that $240 to the $678, and that will give us a new balance in the cash book of $918. So the new cash book balance there is $918. So we're seeing where the overdrawn balance has increased by $240. Why it has increased by the $240? This $240 was debited to the bank statement because of that private transaction there. And because it is a personal transaction, it means that there's an increase in drawings. Increase in the drawings will be credited to the cash book. And because the overdrawn balance is 678, you're going to add that 240 to the 678 because the overdrawn balance is reflected on the credit side of the cash book. So, the new overdrawn balance here is $918. And the final discrepancy there, the bank had not recorded cash sales deposited on the 31st of May, 2021. Because it said not recorded the deposit, it means that this is a late lodgement. So unrecorded deposit is the same thing as late lodgement. And that is $900. Beginning with the bank statement, overdraft, prepare a bank reconciliation statement for is light at 31st of May 2021 using the form provided below. There are two ways in which you can approach this question. You could use the overdrawn balance format, which is the balance as per bank statement. To that, you would add your unpresented check. Then you would less your late lodgement and you would arrive by your cash book balance. So that is the overdrawn balance format. If you're using the regular format, you would work with the figures as negative, and that would be your balance as per bank statement. Add your late lodgement, and from that, you would list your unpresented check, and then you'd arrive by your cash book balance. So the first one right here is your overdrawn balance format that you would use. And uh, this one is, which is the last one right there, is a regular format. But remember, once you use a regular format, you're going to work with the figures as negative. We are now going to look at the response. The first thing that you will enter is the title, which reads Is Light Wholesale Bank Reconciliation Statement as at 31st of May 2021. I'm working with the overdrawn balance first, and that is balance as per bank statement. The value there is $1,118 as presented in the question. To that, you add your unpresented check from a Jamil 700. That would give you a value of $1,818. From that no, you would list your late lodgement of $900. That $900, when subtracted from the $1,818, give you an overdrawn balance as per cash book of $918. Don't forget that this 240 was presented on your bank statement, but not in your cash book. So therefore it will adjust your cash book balance. And that was done earlier. 
So that is the result of the bank reconciliation statement using the overdrawn balance format. And remember, we were specifically asked to start with the bank statement balance. Now, there's another way in doing this, and that is working with the regular format, right? So that would be your bank statement balance, add your late lodgement, less your unpresented, and that would give you your cash book balance. So in using that, because it is an overdrawn balance, you're going to work with the figures as negative. So the first thing, enter your title, which is Ease Light Wholesale Bank Reconciliation Statement as at 31st of May, 2021. Enter your balance as per bank statement. Again, remember, once you're working using this format, work with the figures as negative. The Add your late lodgement of 900 when that positive figure is added to the negative. Remember, you can difference between the two figures and keep the sign of the larger number. So that would give us negative $218. From that, you're going to less your unpresented check. And the negative minus the 700 there. You're going to add both figures together and keep the negative sign. So our result there is overdrawn balance as per cash book of $918. So whichever format you use, you will still arrive by the figure. So whether you work with the overdrawn format or if you work with the original format where you work with the figures as negative, you will still have your result of $918 as your overdrawn balance in your cash book. And that is it for question three. Like, share, and don't forget to subscribe.